framework. Four years ago, it was a normal Saturday in June. Our work day was done. You put on your helmet and you said you would take your motorcycle to JJ the mechanic. Two hours later, I was told you had a crash. Nassau County Police said a 71-year-old woman was driving her 2010 Dodge Journey east on Sunrise Highway and made a left turn to head north on Central Avenue when a 20-year-old man driving a 2008 Yamaha motorcycle crashed into the passenger side of the Dodge. I drove, hoping that you were safe and okay, and telling myself not to feel gloom. That day, my son, you died. Mark, that was the worst moment of my life. I was in turmoil, asking myself, what did I do wrong that this should happen? Why didn't I protect you from harm like I protected you for all your 20 years? I was angry because you would take it from me. There's nothing I could do about it. Mark, that same summer, we worked together in our family stone business. You struggled with your identity for a few years and tried to find a meaningful purpose for your life. You fit right in with all the employees. You worked in all the areas. You drove trucks to make deliveries. You operated forklifts to load our customers. And you made sales to homeowners and contractors. You were growing beautifully. The best way I remember you now is when it snows. Do you remember all the snow sculptures we used to build together? I would ask, what should I make? Make SpongeBob. Make a teddy bear. Mark, you love teddy bears. Do you remember the first one we made for you when you were four years old? Do you remember kids vandalized it and knocked the head off? Well, it happened again, 20 years later. Some kids passed by at midnight and attacked Teddy. And he knocked his head off again. The sculpture started as a fun way to express his artistic side. But tragically, Bevelacqua's son Mark passed away four years ago in a motorcycle accident. He now likes to create the sculptures in his memory, especially bears like this one, which were Mark's favorite. To me, it's very personal. It's a creative outlet just to, just to remember Mark and to keep him with me. So I, I, do, I do things for him. Mary Poppins, huh? Very, well, she's magical. Yeah. You're marvelous. She's yeah. magical. <laughs> So I want snow. I, I'm, I'm building Mary Poppins. I'm not building uh, the Taj Mahal over here. They're cleaning out the hospital parking lot. They want to bring all the snow. What do you got? All the stuff in the park from the hospital? I love when it snows. A gentle snowfall is very soothing. It has a cleansing effect and everything slows down. I feel the world is at peace. I see the snow as something pure, untouched. A gift from the heavens for me to create with. A gift from Mark. When I look outside and see the snow coming down, I smile and ask, what are we going to make today, Mark? I think of a few ideas until I imagine the one that he would like me to create. 
Then I go outside and start making a pile. If it's wet, I would complain. But I keep going, knowing that soon we'll be done. There will be another creation for everyone to enjoy, especially the younger children who are always gleeful like Mark was at that age. Well, this Mary Poppins was a bit difficult. We were just about finished when she decided to topple over and do a complete face plant in the snow. Marty, on me, you didn't even, you didn't even get upset. You were just like, when she gets in the zone, that's it. Well, you know your dad. We built her back better than before. It was another success. Do you remember how much you loved seeing Mary Poppins on stage in London? That's when your brother Matthew was studying abroad there. We had a little uh, interruption when Mary took an unexpected trip, right, Mark? Yeah, yeah. She Ma Ma me. Mary Poppins, she popped on us. She, she, she flew away. And she went she down. She went. She, and rebuilt. She went down like a, like a ton of bricks. Well, we got it. We got it done now. Doing well now, Mark. But I think the uh, the, the frame is holding up pretty well. It looks like, huh? Yeah, without a doubt. The snow creations make people very happy, and sometimes they are amazed. They make an impact that people remember for many years. If you think about it, everything is temporary. Mark was only with us for 20 years, but he touched many lives, made a big impact, and love was felt by anyone who knew him. In his brief life, Mark made quite a lasting difference, and that's what matters. There were other ways that we remember you now. I built a memorial on Sunrise Highway in Baldwin where your accident happened. Sometimes I sit there enjoying a cigar, watching all the cars passing while I think of you. Well, one way we remember you now is having part of the Madison Theater named after you. It is called the Mark Bevilacqua Gallery of Art and Music. Mark, I held your hand for 20 years. I'll hold you my heart forever. Oh, we should have. Recording this? This part, yeah. <laughs>